also show you how to do it from the command line. You may do this, you can also do this with Raspbian for Robots, or if you've installed uh, GitHub, the GitHub repository on your own and installed, um, say, the uh, 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 GrovePy on your own image, uh, you might use this. So I'm actually logged in um, on Raspbian for Robots with Shell in the box. You can just uh, use your SSH or any other program you typically use to get into your uh, into your Raspberry Pi. I've got it powered on. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually change directories into the uh, Grove Pi directory. So I'm just copying these. Um, I'm going to copy these commands right from the browser over into um, uh, into shell. So I've changed directories into where my Grove Pi is, and then I'm gonna run a couple of commands in Git. The first one is gonna to be to fetch the origin. And so, um, uh, got the latest there, and I'm gonna reset to the Great, so my git directory is up to date for the Grove Pi. That's fine, I'm done with step two. And um, in step three, I'm gonna go to the uh, to where we keep the hard, the, uh, the firmware for the Grove Pi. So I'm gonna change directories into firmware. Run this, just type in cd firmware, and I'm in uh, the firmware directory of the Grove Pi. The next thing I can do, I wanna make this, this file executable, so there's a file in that directory called firmware underscore update dot sh. If I go ahead and list them out, I can see, yeah, firmware underscore update dot sh here. So what I'm gonna do is chmod that, to change it to um, a uh, um, executable file. I gotta do that with sudo, which is a good thing to point out. So we'll do sudo, sudo chmod. Plus X from our update. And now with that file executable, we will go ahead and run the update. It's simply sudo dot backslash firmware update dot sh. And this will actually run the update for you. And yes, we want to run it. So I hit Y checks for the firmware, it sets the fuses, that's the first three things it does. It goes through there and it looks like there are no errors thrown there. You've got AVR dude is done and the fuses are okay. And we're watching it burn the firmware to the chip here. Great. So I also went ahead and verified the uh, data on the chip. We got AVR dude verifying and then the flash was verified and the fuses were okay. So this was successfully done. Um, walks you through and does that. And that's pretty much it. That's it for setting up the um, uh, setting up the firmware on the Grove Pi. Finally, I, from the command line, I just want to show you how to manually restart the Grove Pi. Um, if you're having trouble or maybe the reset line is pulled high, we found that running AVR do dash C um, helps to um, uh, sort of reset the Grove Pi and get everything running. So if you type in AVR, AVR dude, dash C, GPIO, dash P, M328, which is the name of the processor. So that's AVR dash, AVR dude, dash C, space GPIO, space dash P, space M328P. I'll actually reset the, um, real quick, check the fuses. So just another helpful hint while you're getting started with the growth time.